Pirates up next, St. Mary's of Stockton, and the De La Salle Spartans got down with it Friday night. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing, weightsandbars.com, Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Shout out to Kevin Cuenca for covering this game. Straight to the action. St. Mary's on the move. But Kai Moananu Apella comes up with a TFL on Asante Carter. Nice play, same drive. QB Simpson Hunkin, we know him, fires it to Kenneth Moore, the playmaker, with a first down catch. Samson's a dual threat QB. Kept the drive going right here with a keeper. And then they try to get it in, but Spartan defense. They're not gonna let him. Jaden Jefferson with the breakup. Almost picked that one off. That would have been a pick six for sure had he gotten it. Third and goal, Drew Cunningham with the stoppage. Drew's a stud. Rams had to settle for a field goal. All good, three to nothing, St. Mary's. Matthew Kane with a 23-yard boot. Ensuing kickoff, Jonathan Guerrero. That's a 73 yard kick return. And three plays later, Dominic Kelly punched it in for the Spartan score. Extra point was good, seven to three. De La Salle with the lead. St. Mary's defense was stuffed, but they were out there for a long time. And even though De La Salle didn't score, that's eight defensive minutes for the Rams. QB Tof Avai took charge of this series for the Spartans along with Kelly, but on fourth and goal, De La Salle failed to convert. Brillin Reynolds with a seatbelt strap for St. Mary's. De La Salle's kicker, Finn Sepik, did kick the 38-yard field goal to give the Spartans a 10-3 lead at halftime. Third quarter. Speaking of seatbelt, De La Salle really took away the St. Mary's passing game. Jaden Nichols, the sophomore, with the breakup. And the Spartans put together a nice drive after that. Kelly, 12 yards, touchdown. His second extra point was good, 17 to three, De La Salle. Fourth quarter, crucial part of the game for St. Mary's, and they coughed up the ball. If you look closely, De La Salle got away with a face mask penalty, but the Rams, but the Rams didn't get the call, and here comes the Spartans to put this one to bed. Favae with an 85-yard run down the far end. He runs a 4-4-3-40 and a 10.99 100-yard dash. Good luck catching him. 24-3 <laughs> De La Salle with about nine minutes to go. St. Mary's finally connected on a touchdown pass, Hunkin to Caden Ward, a 45-yard hookup later in the fourth but the Spartans' defense was solid all night. 24 to 10, De La Salle over St. Mary's. You know, as coaches, we're trying to make them a grit and grind kind of team. And uh, we've been tough on them in practice, I'll be honest. And we've been hitting a lot, and we've been really, really trying to get trying to get our guys to toughen up and really take a lot of ownership of their team and really build a community where, you know, they band together. We were playing too scared our first two games. We were playing with a, without confidence. Those guys were afraid of making mistakes. We just got after them and, you know, just really, you know, tried to get us to be more physical, but also just really emphasize you can't play this game afraid of making mistakes. If you're wrong, do it full speed. You know, and I saw guys flying around on the football field the last two weeks, so I'm, ha I'm happy with how they've responded. And the result is St. Francis and St. Mary's of Stockton, those are two really good teams, and you know, we're able to beat them, and it's, it's a good feeling for sure. Oh! 